What's up you guys? This is Aditi. Welcome back to our channel. This video is like a highly highly requested video and it took me a while to make this video to be honest because I was out of practice. I did not have to make any notes for like 4 or 5 years. The last time I was in college was in 2016 and I was doing distance education last year um in psychology degree and now I'm back in college. So now i had to do quite a bit of note making for like two weeks it's been two weeks since my uh, college has begun like online lectures so i thought let's make this video now um anyway done with my background so let's begin today's video okay before we talk about the note making techniques let's figure out a few things about ourselves so the kind of note making we'll do uh, depends upon a few factors like the study patterns you have like how do you study um, it depends upon the kind of learner you are whether you're an auditory learner or you're a reader or you need a lot of diagrams or you are a kinesthetic um, <laughs> so if you want me to make a video on kinds of learners out there then leave it in the comment section i'll make one um also the note making depends upon the kind of exams you may have so so imagine um that your exams are multiple choice questions then your notes um should be very objective type very bullet points type uh, and not very elaborative if in your exams you have to write lengthy answers like 20 marks 30 marks like essay type questions then your um note making sh should be elaborative or mind mapping this actually goes hand in hand with the kind of studying you do or the kind of person or learner you are because um if your notes if you are supposed to write essay type questions in your exam and if your notes are bullet points or mind mapped and if you cannot elaborate on your, on those points in your exam then these notes don't work for you right because you won't be able to write a lot you'll just write those bullet points and maybe write one or two sentences and done and you're supposed to write five or six sentences and if you don't do that you will score less so this note making doesn't help you so before you start note making figure out all of these questions and then begin okay now that we have figured all of that out let's begin with the note making so i have three ways that you can take notes first we got i'm going to talk about is mind map so mind mapping is um basically kind of like um one beach my point and then you kind of disperse it out so um the way to take notes obviously is to read from your textbook and then write it down obviously <laughs> obviously so uh, i am going to read history of psychology that's like one of the first things you will study in psychology so i thought that i'll take the first topics will be maybe if your college has already begun and you are like far ahead then i'm sure you have already done this so you already know what it is about and if you haven't then you will know about it and it's like one of the first things that you learn about um so firstly i always start by reading the textbook so there's this first uh, paragraph right here that i did mark a few things um, when i was studying this last year in distance education and i realized that um now that i have online lectures i realized that a lot of things that were not spoken about by my teacher in the online lectures and that's how i realized that this is not that important so if i wouldn't have any online lectures i wouldn't know if this is important or not and last year i was memorizing about aristotle and plato and rene descartes so if you are in a, a traditional college then it's very very important to attend lectures and if you are in distance education it's fine like if you write these down it's really great i'm i'm planning to write it down although uh, my like teacher did not actually explain it but we are not going to talk about that uh, and i've marked it in like pink color pens color pens <laughs> and um, so i know that okay th this is something that i need to look at uh, but i'll just speak about history of psychology and the main things that are important because that's what note making is about so i always begin with writing the topic or the question in the center that's what mind mapping is 
So when I read the second paragraph, I find about I talk I I read Wilhelm Wundt, who is super important. He is the father of psychology. So we will write his name, and then um, I mark a few things like attempted to apply scientific principles to the study of the human mind. But then I would write that as well. He uh, came up with the process called objective introspection. That's the next thing I would write, and what it means. the main thing father of psychology and why he is called the father of psychology which is two reasons which is already mentioned i marked them in blue here the next point uh, is tichner and structuralism in america so the next the next person in history of psychology is tichner it's actually Ed, edward bradford tichner but i'm just going to write tichner then he was a um, student of wund and he expanded on wund's ideas he came up with structuralism and structuralism what did he say that every experience could be broken down into its individual emotions and sensations if you read the textbook you will be able to gather uh, understand what the important points are like um they speak about Uh, Harvard University was the first school in America to offer classes in psychology, and these classes were taught um, by one by the most illustrious instructors, William James. So, in the beginning, you don't need to mention all of that. It's not important. What matters is William James, like professor at Harvard University. If if that's what you want to write, you can write that in the mind mapping as well. basically you understand how you are supposed to do mind mapping the second way you can do um, you can take your notes is by bullet points so let's look at something else but still in the first chapter um let's look at um, psychodynamic dynamic perspective it's one of the modern perspectives and the first one in my textbook um there is this huge block of um highlight that i have done it uh, speaks about the focus uh, of this psychodynamic perspective and it's huge it's like a whole sentence of four lines so if you can break things down it'll make more sense to you and be easier for you to remember as well don't mind my handwriting obviously you're not here for my handwriting you're here to get some information um so it says that in the modern Psycho, psychodynamic perspective the focus is still on so they're talking about what it focuses on so unconscious mind and its influence over conscious behavior and on early childhood experiences but so they they are talking about what they focus on so if you know about psychoanalysis uh, sigmund freud uh, believed that whatever um issues you had in your childhood they are repressed um even your sexual desires are repressed and they um when they surface we have these mental disorders and even nervous disorders so psychodynamic perspective still focuses on the unconscious mind and early childhood experience like i said but but with less so it says with less emphasis on sex and sexual motivations so basically by um writing it like this um you'll be able to understand when you read your notes because this is the first point then uske andar ye point uske andar ye point and then you can um uh, have um like number 1 like i put like one and circle it sometimes you can have capital a capital letters or small letters or you can have big romans a small romans so that's that way you can understand uh, what i do is i put a dash and arrow and an arrow like this sometimes i put a circle and color it for like the main heading or the main topic or something like that and the third one is i'm not actually going to draw it and show you but the third one is a diagram so basically you can have a diagram so we have a biological perspective or biology of the mind as one chapter at least mumbai university does i don't know about your university or college so we have to draw a neuron so i would draw the structure of the neuron and then i would like label it and then uske niche i put a mind map or i would do what the second step just bullet points basically i would do bullet points if i had to so that is um, my way of 
नोट मेकिंग इफ आई हैड टू यस इफ आई हैड टू आई डोंट डू एनी ऑफ दिस एंड आई नो दिस गोइंग टू डिसअपॉइंट यू कह रहे तो ये सब क्यों दिखाया तो बिकॉज लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल लाइक टू मेक दिस अस्थेटिक नोट्स इन अ नोट बुक अ सेपरेट नोट बुक एंड आई एम नॉट दैट पर्सन नॉ एवरीबडी इज़ वेरी डिफरेंट आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन दैट आई टोल्ड टू फिगर स्टफ आउट सो आई ऑलवेज वुड वॉच दोज वीडियोज एंड आई वुड बी लाइक इट बी सो नाइस टू हैव अ नोट बुक फुल ऑफ योर नोट्स एंड आई रियली लाइक इट बट I did not try it because I know the person I am and it will not work for me. So let me tell you why I don't follow this aesthetic note making. So note making is a process that you do during the understanding phase. So you read the textbook and you make notes. What I've realized about me is that I don't want to do that. I don't want to read and write it in my own words. I don't want to do that. I think it would be a waste of time for me. I would prefer reading it, understanding it, and get done with it. Uh, secondly, uh, with Mumbai University, their uh, way of exams is writing essay type questions. So they would ask something like, um, write or explain in detail the Atkinson and Schifrin's three-stage information model of memory. for like 10 to 20 marks or they would ask something like write a short note on freud psychosexual development stages for 5 marks or 10 marks and you have to write like 4 5 pages the thing is that again so it's like an elaborative way of writing and um i feel that if a lot of the material that's already in the textbook uh, i can just read it and maybe memorize it understand it right there and then then what is the point of writing all of it in a separate notebook you know so that's what i believe that's what i think you don't have to follow it you can do the note making thing that i already explained you know it's your choice so i have uh, three ways of note making one is reading the textbook and writing stuff in the textbook now if you are somebody who borrows textbooks um then i guess this will not work for you then um separate notebook bana ke hi kar ha i generally buy notebooks uh sorry textbooks and i keep them uh that's the kind of person i am i would either buy them for cheap or second hand or something like that so i bought this book second hand now you can see i have two textbooks that's like my first way um i generally don't go for two textbooks but like i said last year i was um doing distance education in mumbai university so they gave their own guide they they did mention it its guide and you are supposed to get your own textbooks or reference books now uh, they took a while to um, give these guide books so i was a little impatient because i had never done distance education before so i spoke to one of my friend who has done me in psychology with in mumbai university and i asked her ki fiba ke liye kaun sa textbook lagega and she told me about this one i'm not going to give the names of the textbooks and please don't ask me in the comment section because every university every college ka shayad se syllabus alag hoga to uske hisab se they will give you the names of the textbooks so the ones that i have they may not work for you and i don't want you to waste uh 700000 rupees or even 200 bucks buying this and then realize ki oh this is the wrong textbook and then chat se aap aake mujhe gali doge so i don't want any of those hassles for you or me so i'm going to tell you so any textbook that you have so i bought this one that she told me because she has also done fiba from mumbai university match hoga um so i got this one and then um i got psychology ka book from university as well um uh, the thing is that um if, if i have two textbooks then what i generally do is or a one textbook and a guide jo bhi hai then i would read both both of them so i will take one topic let's say i have a uh, rules of psychology or um history um uh, of psychology in front of me so i would read it i will read both of them i will see um which material i like which material i'm understanding and grasping faster better and it's 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 storing in my head and then i will get get a few stuff from the other textbook so right for example i chose this one as my main textbook then i will continue reading this one and this one and then i will um, see ki like oh acha ye wala part isme nahi hai then i will write it down so that's the reason why you can see a lot of colors in your I did not want to write with one color. Generally, I just go with blue if, because uh, the ink 
of the book is black so I generally go for blue but if I read blue from the book so it would be a mess because there are different points and I wanted to know what point is in which point so for example for the first point so Wilhelm Wundt I took pink then for structuralism I took green for functionalism I made took I took blue so something like that so I kind of color coded the other way of color coding is that um, I will choose green for try marking something important and yellow for like yellow highlight for definitions and blue for examples and pink for maybe experiments that they have mentioned in the textbook so that's also a kind of color coding that I use um, in this book so depends on uh, how you like to do it so that is one way I do when I have two textbooks the second thing that I have is lecture notes so uh, it's super super important for you to attend your lecture that's like the first step you take towards studying okay because lectures may like I already mentioned lectures they tell you uh, they teach you about the stuff and then you realize that this part is not important nahi hai. so you don't need to know about Aristotle or Plato or René Descartes or Hemholtz so you don't need to know all of those stuff so um, it's really important to uh, attend your lectures now um, I am somebody who would sleep would fall asleep if I um, just don't write stuff so everybody, everybody is different again the type of learner you are somebody uh, like I remember I know a person who uh, listens and he understands it better and he can um, stay awake I would say so he is very good at listening and grasping information I am not if I just keep listening to somebody talk I will fall asleep so I tend to write so you can see my notes that I write stuff in here so I have also I also have these notes where I would write um, about John B Watson and I have just like pointed it down like John B Watson then he challenged functionalism and structuralism and then he wanted uh, to focus on scientific inquiry and he ignored consciousness so this is behaviorism this is a part of behaviorism and um, so I, I make notes like this uh, whatever um, tidbits that I can uh, remember and I can write um, now that we have online lectures it is very easy to take notes because I just take screenshots of their P PPT and then if I forget something or if I couldn't write something because she just like she moved on and to the next PPT then I can just write it down later then after that on the very same day or the next day um, I will transfer all of my lecture notes in my textbook again color coding stuff like I already spoke about in my first point the last one that I do is flashcards. Now, um, I don't have any flashcards to show you, but I'll just insert a picture. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, I kind of explained this um, in my Q&A video. If you want, you can go watch that out. But it's basically um, a card. And on one side, you would have something like um, define what is a neuron, like what is a neuron. And on the other side would be the answer to that. So you can write this down now when you are note making and then when you study you can test yourself or quiz yourself. So that is one way. Um, I don't have flashcards because I thought that I will save money because psychology ke liye kitne sare lagenge because look at the textbook guys. It's insane. And there will be so many important things in the textbook that I would want to remember and I would put it in the flashcard. It will be really hard to keep in touch with everything. So I decided to uh, get an app it's a free app it's Anki app or I've also used Quizlet now both are really good but I prefer Anki app more and I use that while studying so if you want me to make a video on how I study then let me know in the comment section I know there will be some of you who will be disappointed ki kya hai, but don't forget that you asked me for my process and how I take notes and that's what I told you also I did give some tips as to how you could do as well so I hope this video helps at least one person and if you are that person then hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and you'll join the community and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I post a new video I'll see you next Friday with another psychology video there is also um, it, the note making also depends upon the kind of exams you have guys I don't know how much time is Disturb karte man. I wish we would have a chota chota story. Subscribe to the channel and join the community and hit the subscribe.
मी का चुकते 